Lady Dawson refuses to be categorized the podcast. Today, I wanted to share with you kind of like just a diary what I'm thinking of at the moment. I've been churning out a bunch of really big, intensive articles lately, and I'm bloody thrilled with them, and I'm so excited that they're finally out in the world. And I'm also feeling like I can't pump out super intensive stuff every day because that way it leads to blogging burnout. So I thought I'd just spend some time today and just write to you, talk to you like a pen pal, which is how it all began back in December when I decided to do a press publish every day experiment. And I just thought I'd tell you what I'm thinking of today. Last night I was journaling and meditating because that's what I do now, guys. And I was also kind of wondering why I'd had this kind of vague sense of soul itchiness over the last week or so. And I realized there's some changes that I've been holding off on making because, (laughs) this is so silly, but because I had planned for them to be 21 day challenges. But as it turns out, like I just want and need and crave doing them right now. So here's what I'm currently doing daily. I'm journaling every day. This started organically at the start of the year because my wonderful assistant um, bought me the most beautiful journal for Christmas. And it's actually in that journal that I came up with the whole idea of 21 day challenges. I'm also doing meditating every day. That's my current challenge. I'm also blogging every day because I'm doing a double (laughs) current challenge. Um, I'm doing no social media and no internet browsing, which are the last two challenges that I've loved so much that I've kept doing. And I've also started doing yoga, which is a recent uprising that I'm doing for pain management reasons because my hypermobile shoulders have been pretty fucked lately and it's the only thing that kind of keeps pain levels down. And those things are forming into actual habits, you know, like I'm starting to feel like they're essential elements of my day, which is completely surprising to me because I've tried for years to develop great daily habits like this and nothing has worked like these 21 day challenges. I think the 21 day challenges work for me for two reasons. One, I'm a sprinter, not a marathon runner. And if you tell me to meditate every day for the rest of my life, it would feel like way too much pressure to me and I'd run screaming. But like 21 days, that's manageable. I can totally do that sprint. And then two, once I've done those 21 days, it's enough time for it to be a habit and for me to experience the benefits of it so I don't really wean off from doing it at the end. But there's more habits that I'm craving right now and I don't want to wait until that challenge to do them. And it's funny that I felt like I was having to hold myself back in order to wait for them. And then I remember when I started doing these challenges, I made a bunch of like real freedom honoring promises to myself. And here's what I said. These are not in order and none are compulsory. They are merely a menu of options and I may even do more than one challenge at a time. I give myself complete freedom and permission to abandon any challenge or the whole lot of them if they don't end up being helpful to my mental health. Because one thing I realized last year is that the Leone of today is not the expert of the Leone of tomorrow. Last year, I had a bunch of goals in mind for the year, but by three quarters of the way through the year, I realized they just weren't the right fit anymore. But I still felt hemmed in by my original goals. I didn't want to do that this time. I want to make this optional on every level. I can change my damn mind anytime I want. So that's like good wisdom from past Leone. Like, well done, past Leone. Like, (laughs) high five yourself. Because I really needed to remind myself today that I have complete permission and freedom to take on challenges as many or as little or none as I wished. And honestly, the more I've changed my habits, the more I feel confident and powerful that I can make other changes too. So what changes do I want to make? Well, I need to make some helpful kind of lifestyle changes. Nothing feels majorly off. My body just feels uncomfortable. So I know it's time for a reset. I am not interested in doing the fast 800 again. Like looking back, it was just way too fucking hard. Plus, I don't think I need a full lifestyle overhaul. I just need to make some gradual good changes. So some changes I'd like to incorporate are daily walking, continuing with daily yoga, 
moving back to more nutritious food, specifically stopping eating ice cream, bread, bakery food, and start eating more nutritionally dense foods. I've also booked in to see a naturopath in three weeks time, the earliest I could get in. It's funny, I was looking through my papers and realized that I've worked with a naturopath for a reset every 10 years. Once when I was 18, then when I was 28, and now I'm 38. Like, it is bonkers. So until I see her, I'm going to keep a daily hormone diary and a daily food and exercise diary. I actually found them on hand as her handouts on her website before I even booked. <laughs> and I promptly printed them out and I made a study folder. I am going to be an A plus fucking client, I tell you. I tell you. Um, if you're interested, if you go to amina.com.au, um, that's A-M-I-N-A. She has a whole bunch of kind of naturopathic information and also Lyme's disease information if you're somebody who's got Lyme's. I don't have Lyme's, um, but I have dear friends who do. And um, I'm always excited to see another person who actually knows what the fuck it is because here in Australia, nobody really knows what the fuck it is. Um, so I thought I would tell you what today looked like now that I've started to incorporate some of those habits just for shits and giggles. I woke up at 7.45 a.m. because it is school holidays at the moment and I stayed up late last night reading an adorable book called 40 Love by Olivia Dade. Uh, I had a breakfast of chai tea and a peanut butter cookie Lara bar. I did shoulder yoga and meditation. I organized some appointments and then talked to our property manager about our investment property. Um, then I went for an hour long bushwalk through the eucalypt forest at the end of our street and it's rained so much that the lakes and rivers have overflowed onto the walking paths so I had to take off my Birkenstocks a few times to wade my way through and there were like red and green and blue butterflies everywhere and these tiny fish and minuscule frogs, froggy frogs and it was like the greatest thing ever. The highlight of my day. Uh, for lunch I had steamed veggies on rice. Usually I make like the nomest satay sauce on the planet by doing one tablespoon of peanut butter, one tablespoon of sweet chili sauce and a squeeze of lemon juice. It's fucking delicious, but I thought I'd just be a basic bitch today and just put plain peanut butter on the veggies. Like lazy person's peanut satay, if you will, but either is good. I fucking love peanut. Uh, then I hauled out all my cookbooks. I got some healthy cooking inspiration. Oh, before anyone emails in about peanuts, like, Hush, I've had tests. I'm not allergic to peanuts. I Peanuts are fine for me, but you know what is not fine for me? Almonds. Almonds are not fine for me. <laughs> I thought it was like, I changed using like all almonds 10 years ago. Um, and then like wondered why I just felt so horrific. And the naturopath's was like, you're allergic to almonds. I was like, oh, cheers. Thanks, boo. So time for my... 10 year nut update maybe i am allergic to peanut but maybe this is like a oh we shall see and of course i'll tell you everything uh anyway then i hauled out all my cookbooks and i got some healthy cooking inspiration i organized our pantry to see what we had and what i needed to get then i moved crucially all of my pizza and bread making supplies to the top shelf because I have been making like pizza doughs and then these like pizza scroll things and then like handmade bread and it's fucking delicious but I don't think it's like doing me any good. So I ended up putting all like my quinoa and my chia seeds and my fucking desiccated coconut and dates and my healthy cooking supplies center stage instead. Then I talked to Chris for a while because I have to tell him everything that goes through my brain. Uh, and we watched the kids bounce on the trampoline. And then I toddle off to bed to do a little bit of work before dinner. And now I'm here. So I am off to make dinner. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being you. Um, and if you're interested, my prices are doubling at the end of this month. Like the countdown is on. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. get in now to save yourself some dollars so money manifesting in multiple streams of income is doubling in price 40 days to a finished book is doubling in price and 40 days to create and sell your e-course to find out all the information go to leonidawson.com forward slash double um, don't email me first of May going oh, I'm sorry I missed out because I'll say no 
no. Because <laughs> that's how I roll. All right, my loves. I love you. I'm so glad that you're here with me. Thank you for being you. I'm grateful. Okay, bye. You hang up. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. I'll never be able to hang up. God, never. Okay, bye.